Welcome to Imperfect in an Uncertain World, resources for living with authenticity and purpose. Are you finding it difficult to find your balance? Is this world just a little too uncertain to you? Well, let's talk about riding a tilting and sliding world, finding balance when we need it. So I'm going to begin by saying once upon a time the world tilted. It took a slide and was never the same again. If you're like me, the world has never seemed so uncertain. Um, and again, if you're like me, do you find yourself grappling for balance, somehow looking for a solid ground? Or maybe you just shake your head and say, what the heck do I do now? Well, let's talk about what you do now. I believe that maybe this world and finding our place in it is less about having definitives or living in certainty and all about living into the moment. But how do we live in the moment? And what does that even mean? Living into the moment requires being open to what is. It's being open to what is happening. And again, that's not about complacency. That's a willingness to be in the world as it presents itself so that we're repaired, we are prepared to respond as opposed to react to it. It's about not getting stuck in your own agenda and what should be happening. It's about being okay with what is happening, even if it is in direct opposition to what you think you want. So instead of fighting what is, we live into possibilities. And this is what's important. We live into the possibilities as they present themselves moment by moment. That's how we live into the moment. So let's talk about living into the possibilities. I'm a master at reframing. Give me a situation in five minutes or so and I can name the positive, the potential, the learning inherent in any situation. Now, that skill didn't manifest for me overnight. It took practice and some fine tuning of optimism. Um, I've said to many people, I am a realistic optimist. Um, so I see the world as it is, but I'm optimistic that we can find the possibilities. So let's reframe that tilt that the world seems to be in. What if we viewed the uncertainty as an opportunity to rediscover or even re-choreograph the dance we have with life? Because with any uncertainty comes a rhythm, a melody that really invites us to uncover our true real self and that's it, our real self. It's I'm thinking about the velveteen rabbit becoming real. How do we become real? And not only become real, but how do we share our real self with the world? So I'm going to challenge you. You think you can't change the world? Never underestimate the power of being your real self. So realistically optimistic, that's me. And maybe it's you too. Or maybe it's something that you want to invite into your life. So don't rush into what you found. Take a moment to gain balance in this tilt-a-whirl world. Really feel your reactions and responses because if we don't know what's going on with ourselves, we're never going to be able to figure out what's going on with the world. Listen to the messages whispering and shouting from your being. Listen to your intuition. Notice how your body is impacted by the internal, by the external, because those are all messages for us. Get a multi-sensory panoramic view of your current reality. A lot of that is about listening to your intuition. So what happens when we take a moment to get our bearings? We gain a different perspective. With that new view, sometimes we see the possibility while other times we have to take a breath as the grief washes over us. 
Now, I have to admit that there are times in this crazy, uncertain world that we just need to allow ourselves the luxury of being in the fear that lurks in the uncertainty. And I'll admit I even take a nap to allow my body to reset, to allow myself to be calm, um, to gain a different perspective. And that, that nap helps me do that reset. So no matter what we choose, we remind ourselves that we can't help anyone, including ourselves, when we are tilted sideways in this uncertain world. So once we reset ourselves, we relook at the situation. And in doing so, we open to the magic in the moment. Even if the potential is not evident, we will ourselves to see the potential. So it's about being conscious and intentional as we will the hopes, the tendrils of hope, because there are tendrils of hope no matter what, to reach into the uncertainty and ask those tendrils to twine with the possibility. Maybe that hope will twine with the despair of another and raise them into hope's possibility. And that's why I'm saying we never know how our being real will change the life of another person. Think you cannot change the world? Think again. Small actions have huge, have big consequences. With an eye on the possibility prize, we can navigate the fog of uncertainty. We can choose one action that shines our light in a bleak world. One action. Ask yourself, what one thing can I do in this moment to change the world? We cast a light on our growing circle, and in doing so, we recognize that a simple action is all we need to accomplish to make minute changes in the world, to accomplish our purpose. And that action is enough to stop the tilt and bring us to balance. And the more times we bring us to balance, the more we can impact the tilting world. So I'm not going to argue with the fact that life is uncertain and the world is always going to tilt in big and small ways. But we must never give in to the uncertainty. Instead, partner with the uncertainty. Engage the rhythm that invites us to dance, to find our own balance within the uncertainty. And through the dance, we unravel the worrisome knots and live hope in a turbulent world. So my offering to you today is may you be the hope that unravels the uncertainty. And I want to thank you for listening, for watching my video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, additional resources are available at VanessaFHurst.com. If you need a little nudge that will bring you into this place of realistic optimism, I would love to work with you one session or more. Um, contact me. But whatever you do, find time to acknowledge the uncertainty, the tilt in the world, and look for ways to find a balance. Thank you, and have a terrific day.